Hello, my gorgeous, beautiful, sexy Aquariuses. If you stumble across this video or it slapped you in the face, my name is Kelly. I'm an intuitive reader here on YouTube and over on TikTok. And I hope you consider subscribing, becoming one of the besties. But I wanted to do a weekend read for July 16th through the 17th. If you are seeing it at that time, then it definitely is for you. If you are seeing it after, there are definitely are messages in here for you. I'm manifesting that people find it when they're meant to find it. But let's go ahead and get started. And if you're on the tubes, hit that subscribe button. It'd really help a girl out and let me know that you guys want these longer readings more frequently, like every week and weekend. But we're gonna use LaRoche's Goddess Queen Just Me 23 deck, follow that up with some romance angels and then bring it home with some love and, or light, shadows and light oracle. I wanna go, I don't know what I'm saying. Whoever is talking, you might feel chaotic Aquarius because I cannot speak. But let's go ahead and take a deep breath in through our nose, out through our mouth, putting good energy into the cards. God energy source, your ancestors and mine, because we are energetically aligned. What do we need to go ahead and know for the Aquariuses for this weekend, please? And thank you. The card that almost popped out was I chose me. So maybe you're choosing yourself as always, like the queen or king you are. Yeah, you chose yourself. Ain't nothing to cut a bitch off. King or queen of swords by Felicia. You are standing in your own energy. This is Gemini, Libra, Aquarius vibes um, with the king or queen of swords. Yeah, you're not tolerating, tolerating any karmic behaviors, any lower negative vibrational energy. Yeah, you're getting rid of and transmuting any negative feelings, any anger, resentment. You're letting that shit go because this is allowing you to ascend and get farther along on your journey while you just, you know, slay some bitches and get rid of all that negative toxic energy around you. You prepare a table before you, a wolf's in sheep clothing. Just know you're getting a lot of signs and synchronicities here to give you a message pay attention because you're getting multiple lovers this card has came out a lot today for people i think it's just realizing you're not going to settle for less than what you deserve you deserve equal give and take my love and stop doubting yourself you are the shit you are the bestest bestie in the world and you deserve it and you're gonna get it at the bottom of the deck, yeah, people are watching you on social media, stalking, watching, lurking. Give them a show. Show them your glow up because you're calling in this abundance. This is prosperity, wealth, fame, love, friendship, gratitude, anything that's at a higher vibration you're getting because you're in it to win it, in it to lose it. And someone loves you. Yeah, this person definitely loves you. They fell for you unconditionally. Strong attraction, affection. Please love me back, baby. What a girl wants. What a girl needs. I don't know why that song popped in my head, but it did. But that's what you're manifesting and bringing in. Let's jump to the Romance Angels Oracle. What do our lovely Aquariuses need to know for this weekend spirit? Or whenever they are seeing this video. Thank you, thank you, thank you. We're not going to take these ones. We'll see what else comes out. Because that was literally a fourth of the deck. Thank you. Okay, reconciliation. Someone from your past is returning. Yikes, bestie. Um, so if you want someone from your past to come back, it's definitely someone who is immature or children are involved in this relationship, whether you have children with this person, they have children with someone else, but your love life is being affected by them. But you're going to have a heart to heart with this person, really be able to connect um, and focus on what you want to bring forward, right? Because the situation is asking for you to have trust, trust the divine, trust your intuition, trust whatever you want to trust, you know, free fall. Like I was saying earlier, you never know if you don't try. So trust the universe and go for it. Last but not least, let's whip out the lovely shadow and light oracle and let's see what the Aquariuses need to know. Oh, be your true self just popped out. This one wants to come out. Okay, you miss someone. Maybe you've been seeing monarch butterflies everywhere. Um, that's your spirit guides, guardian angels, God, whoever you believe in, sending you a message that they are with you, your guides, um, because they want you to know, like, this is the what's keeping you stuck. You know, you just got to remember. What's that song? Cinderella's dead. That's like, I forgot I was a bad bitch. 
tragic, you know, like that's you. But after a period of getting out of this rut, really feeling your oats, as Gigi Gunn would say, really feeling yourself, bestie, you're becoming your true self. And please just don't lose hope. You're going to get all your manifestations, eight for abundance, again, confirming. And then six is obviously for self-reflection. Don't lose hope. Autumn, by the fall time, everything, all your blessings are going to come forward. So it's sooner rather than later. We're already in middle of July, depending on when you're seeing this. But as I'm recording it, that's where we're at. So exciting news for you, Aquarius. I'm sending you so much love, so much light. Hit that subscribe button. Become a bestie over here. Even if you're coming from TikTok, support your girl over here. I'm going to continue to do longer readings, and I hope you guys love them. Drink your water. If no one tells you this today, I'm proud of you. I love you. And have a great evening or morning or afternoon. Bye, besties.